I know the world is a, a scary place right now and we are all doing our best to keep ourselves safe and healthy and to keep other people safe and healthy. So I thought I would make a video and let you know what I'm doing with my lockdown uh, to, to keep myself sane. So first thing I'm doing, petting a lot of puppies. A lot of puppies, isn't that right, little man? He's thriving, by the way. He's having the best time. Gets lots of attention. I'm drinking a lot of tea. A lot of tea. Um, I've been baking, which is nice. Um, it's really, really good. I'm not gonna spend most of this video talking with biscuits in my mouth. Sorry. Doing a lot of jigsaws. On about our fourth one, I'm pretty much seeing jigsaws in my sleep at this point. But it's really nice to do them and listen to podcasts at the same time. So I've been listening to a lot of them Dead to Me podcasts, which is a really funny take on history. It's got um, a podcast where you have a historian and some comedians coming on and talking about a topic. So if you don't know much about something, it's a really great way to get into it. Been doing Needlepoint. This is, uh, I'm about to finish this one. So this is Los Angeles. This took a really long time, <laughs> but hopefully today I'll be done. Um, and this woman, she's called Hannah Bass. And I try to do um, cities that I've worked in. So the next one's Melbourne. I mean, I bought a lot of them. Okay, I have a problem. I have a real problem. Eating a lot of sweets. These are a special Easter edition of Jelly Babies. Jelly Baby Chicks. <coughs> Excuse me, cookie in my throat. And then I've been um, reading a lot. So I thought I'd tell you some of the books I've been reading. So first we have here, Sharon Penman. Um, obviously you can see I have read this book a million times. She is a wonderful historical fiction writer. Um, and I have read all of hers many, many times and they're very comforting. I find when things are a bit um, unsure, reading books that you've read before is, is makes you feel very safe. So it's like a, wrapping yourself in a big literary duvet. So that's why I'm rereading Ken Follett, who is again, amazing. This and World Without End are two of my favorites of his. Um, and then we have here, this is Martha. I don't know if anybody else here knows who Martha Mitchell is, but she's one of the characters in Watergate. And uh, this is a biography about her. And just so you know, Martha was right. Lady from the Black, Black Lagoon, it is a book about um, Millicent Patrick, who was one of, if not the, uh, creator of the creature from the Black Lagoon. And I, don't, I think the book is about how she didn't get proper... Um, oh, that's from my mom. Huh. Um, she didn't get proper credit for her in, for, in her life. Yeah, this is from my mom. Sweet of her. Um, Fall on Your Knees which is another historical fiction book set in Nova Scotia at the turn of the century. And it goes from Nova Scotia and it follows one family and uh, over about 20, 30 years. And it ends up in sort of New York in the post-World War One. Diary of a Provincial Lady. Uh, this is set in a small town in the 1930s in England. And I would describe this as kind of like the literary version of A Great British Bake Off. I mean, it has nothing to do with baking, but it's the same sensibility. Then we have... Bronze Horseman, another classic, Paulina Simmons. It is set in Russia during World War II and it is gorgeous and beautiful and it is the start of a series, so she's got a few of them, but this is my favorite one. This is American Rose. This is a book about Gypsy Rose Lee. So if anybody here has seen the musical Gypsy, this is the same woman and it is her life before the musical and then it goes into what happens to her after. So um, it's really good, it's really interesting. And there was a lot of stuff I didn't know about her, but she's fascinating. And in the same vein, this is her own memoir. So, you know, how could you not want to know something about this woman? She's fabulous. And so that's what I've been doing. I have been reading and eating and uh, also, not getting dressed properly. This is pretty much the first time I've got actual clothes on, so you're welcome. <laughs> um, I, I know things are tough right now and they're, they're tough for everyone, but we're all doing our best and I know everybody else is of, of staying in and staying safe so we can all stay healthy and, and support our frontline workers and to support our first responders. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody for supporting HomeCon because it is 
supporting these brilliant people in what it is they're doing to keep us all safe and healthy. And um, I want to thank you all for, for doing that because you staying safe keeps other people safe and it keeps the people I love safe. So I want to say thank you to that. And thank you to Rachel for asking me to do this and, and thank you to you all again. It's, it's a scary uncertain time, but we will all get through this and one day we will all be able to be together again and, and see each other. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane, stay happy and, and support the people who are out there doing the, the tough jobs so that we can all be okay.